Hello guys. Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial video. I'm going to alter um, in this video today. I want to be showing you how to install Power MTA Auto Screw. Yeah, as all know, Power MTA is an enterprise grade email message transfer agent, which is the MTA. So it's known for sending high volume of mails. So business critical news. So it's been known from sending I messages. Um, then um, you can read more about it from the spackpools.com. Then you can see how everything can be run on your own server. And uh, in this video, I will just showing you how to run Power MTA server. So if you want to get Power MTA server, you can see they sell their license together with their five for five thousand. $500 per month, oh sorry, this by year, but then if you need the Power MT license, the full tutorial, then this buy, then you can check on the description below this video and reach me on our social or any of our social media platform. So we'll be there to give it to you at an affordable rate. So we're not going there today. So today we want to show you how you can set up your own Power MTA server. And uh, the first thing you need to do is to go on this um, Spark Post resources. And from here, you put in the domain you want to use. So then I'm using this. Um, I'm going to have my credentials. My uh, you can see this my DKIM and other information will be here. Then you must have your VPS ready. VPS from OVH. I'll be using OVH VPS in this video. So after this, I need to log in to my server right here. So log in. Host and then the username and uh, the password. So we get the password. And then I have my password. My password here and the port twenty two. Then I click on uh, okay. Let me log into this. Log in. Okay. Then I click on save. All right. Log in. Done. So let me open a new terminal console. Okay, then the first thing we need to do is to change this um, to root login, and to do that, we run the command to do password. Okay, so password root. Hit enter. Paste your new password. Enter. Type your new password. Password has been saved successfully, then we need to uh, allow it access. And to do that, we we'll run this command and we we'll run this command and enter. Then we we'll reboot server, run then the password, initial password for the root. Then uh, you wait for it so that we can reboot. So So now we log in to root and uh, in terminal console. Open this. So the next thing here is that we're going to set our host name, and uh, to do that, we'll run this command. Thank you, the command to do that. So we'll be using this, and uh, just need to add the domain we want to use. So we're using this domain. Let's go back to this place. Okay. Then on the back of this, so we can just put um, uh, like this. I'll copy the old code command and uh, go to your SSH client. Then write in the code and enter. So you can check the host name, host name, enter. You can see it's now changed. So that's good. Then after this, we will report to the system again. Root, enter. So the next thing is to go on our cap spark post. So go on the spark post and to go in. Then uh, go down and see. Okay, the first step it says we should configure our DNS. You can see this now. Then uh, the first thing you need to do is to copy this. Uh, the key, so copy this to the key, then go on this, uh, add a T, 
PXP record. Okay, let's show more. Let me delete all this record for now. So I write a new record and I say PXP root which is then uh, the value will be from first place and I'm here copy this and the value will be this enter now you go you go back uh, okay you go here to the main then you need to edit this clean this So after this time to run our command line, so the first command line will be running here, so we'll be running this command and enter, okay, so you wait for the whole process there to finish uploading, we run the second one, we call this and run the second one, mind you this is just a demo video, so not all the commands and the information will be shown here, okay, so it's coming up, Enter again. Now we are installing it. Alright, done. Installation done. Okay, it's only Power MP version 5.7. Then after this, we run this command cd and uh, this is to be in the PMP file. Enter. Okay. Then we install our bin. Then let's go now. Start post. That's the second step we have. Okay, on the second step of our start post. So, okay. Then we we'll copy this. Okay. Then let's go back on our console and save the name. Then uh, our code. Enter. Good. Insert this. Okay. And we go on the command here and we copy it. Now I'm going to copy this uh, and end here. Copy this and go back to the message line. Copy this, okay. Then you press escape. Then you press this. Is done then um then we run this and enter okay good and it's time to insert the bin now it's time to edit our config here yeah, so this place we're going to edit our config and our this info here yeah, so i'll do that now and paste it in the column there okay i've done editing my config and uh just paste it, paste it here and uh sorry So now, after the configuration, let's start our PMP. Okay. And see this error? Okay, so I think I made a mistake in my. Uh, Configuration so which I've edited to set this PMP and we're running this um, push starts okay you can see it's okay now then uh, set this PMP status good you can see it's running so now let's check if our power MP is working fine. So I'll test him using SMP file. Let's start in net. And our server will be uh, our domain. Thank you. 
location button name and password choose uh, and email from So you can see mail set successfully. So I open my browser and type in Gmail to confirm this. Gmail. Some some did it actually get into the box. And boom, you can see this, the mail successfully landed in the inbox, you can see this, it was successfully added and you can see this is the host, this is the name, you can see we use the trust, safe token, trust AWS. So before I stop this video, to check your um, Power MTA um, monitor, so you just go to your server, and on the server, you just put this in out. Server then uh, this okay basic user this will show you your PMTA monitor you can see this is our PMTA monitor you can see the stack post this is a license power MTA monitor you can see this version 7 okay guys so you can take um so far we sent two messages you can see that the two messages we sent using our SMTP smtpad.net all right guys so if you think um they're interested in getting your own power mtl smtp server just hit the description below and uh, click on any of the social media platform and get in touch with us so we can set up your own smtp server and also if you're also interested in uh, learning how to set up your own power MT smtp server for your businesses you can at the same time Click on the description below this video to reach us on our social media and we will be available to welcome you. Mind you, these are not free services, but they are affordable. So thanks for watching this video once again.